Hello, I am Professor Brainstein of the Ultra Agents Research Team, and I am here at Mission HQ to teach you about kinetic and potential energy. Oh, for goodness sake, would you please just focus? Ah, well, there we are. <coughs> kinetic and potential energy are two forms of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. It is measured in a unit called joules. Potential energy is the energy of position. Even when an object is still, it has energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be carried from object to object. If an object has stored energy, it has the potential to do something. So it can be said to have potential energy. Take this ATV, for example. Its shock absorbers are made of elastic bands, which, when stretched to their fullest, contain a type of potential energy called elastic potential energy. Kinetic energy is, simply put, the energy of motion. All moving things contain kinetic energy. The more mass and velocity, or speed, something has, the more kinetic energy. Mass is the amount of matter there is in an object. For example, a planet would have far much more mass than a car. The launcher that you see here for this buggy is used for giving it kinetic energy. Let's test it out, shall we? our demonstration and explanation of kinetic and potential energy. It is now time for a quick demonstration on kinetic and potential energy. Hey Robin, do you want to use the new grappling gun to grapple up to that ledge? No way, Batman! Last time I did that, my friend from school had to replace me with Robin for like a month! I'll let you drive the Batmobile. <laughs> okay, I'll do it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> this sucks! Pay close attention here. As Robin is swinging, he has kinetic energy. As he is swinging, he reaches a point where he is no longer moving. Of course, this only happens for a split second, but at this single moment, he has potential energy.